Greetings, my sexy audience. My name is Marty, and do you want to increase your FPS in Grand Theft Auto V? Do you want to get rid of that goddamn annoying stuttering and freezing, as well as reduce input lag? Because if you do, this video will help you do that. Now, this works only for NVIDIA users, so keep that in mind. And if you have an AMD graphics card, you might have a few chances, like... There's a post in the description that is a Reddit post from the username Camel Totem. If you go check that out in the comment section, there's also a link to what you should download, what you should do as an AMD user, but just because I have an a NVIDIA graphics card, I'm going to show you what to do if you are an AMD, and not AMD, but an NVIDIA user. So, what you want to do is you want to open your, up your control panel, the NVIDIA control panel. Inside of the control panel, you want to go to Manage 3D Settings, and then find Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, first off, you want to go into Program Settings, and then select Grand Theft Auto 5 in this drop-down menu. If you don't have it over here, which is what also happened to me, you press Add, and then it should be in this list over here. Do not use the 5 launcher, you don't want that, you just want Grand Theft Auto 5 and then click add select the program. So then what you want to do is you want to use, you want to change the things that you see over here that are in bold. So when you don't change anything, it's going to be normal text. When you want to change something, for example right here, you see it goes to bold. Everything by default is use global setting. So what you want to change is maximum pre-render frames to 1. You want to change multi-display mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance mode. Then power management mode to prefer maximum performance, shader cache on off and thread optimization to on. Actually the original post OP didn't put shader cache to off that was on use global setting but I noticed that if you put this on off you get actually a few more extra frames and also what OP did is he actually put vertical sync so vsync on adaptive and that actually is vsync yeah you get 60 frames or whatever frames you know the hertz the refresh rate of your monitor which for me is 60 but that Actually, still for me at least, maybe for not for OP, but for me that meant that were, there was still input lag, and no one likes input lag. It was less than if you have VSync uh, turned on inside the game, so it's better having here VSync than inside the game. But if you want pretty much zero input lag, then just put that to use global setting, and you'll be okay. And again, yeah, as I said, OP didn't have shader cache touched, but I put it on off, and it seems to work pretty well. So then you hit apply, and that's pretty much all you have to do as an NVIDIA user. Now the only thing is that for me this I got like 20 to 30 more frames so I was running on normal textures everything else on high very high and um, what else anti-aliasing was off and I got I would previously had 70 frames per second with stuttering when driving fast in, in cars for example now I had like 85 90 sometimes even 100 frames per second on those same settings with no stuttering input lag was there but it was much smaller but yeah, it was definitely a much better experience. What I did now is I actually was able to turn on textures to high. I did lower graphics from, uh, not graphics, but grass from high to normal, because grass is just ridiculously, it's just, just eats up your frames like crazy. And yeah, and now I even have FXA anti-aliasing on, and I have also better reflections, better shadows, and overall just a much better experience with almost no stuttering, no freezing, and pretty much zero input lag it's freaking amazing so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like rating down below and tell me did you get a nice improvement because while i got yeah a nice little fps boost and i got reduced input lag and no freezing and stuttering some people on reddit with their 750 ti's and n70s and graphics cards are saying that they got ridiculous frame rate boosts. like some of them even got two times more frames and could like if they previously played on low things now we're playing on freaking maxed out no joke so i hope that after watching this video and doing all these things you guys will also have increased frame rate and reduced input lag and no stuttering and freezing things like that so tell me how's it going guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out